we've all seen these daft, stupid, illegal, straight flying golf balls. And I thought, rather than just test it, why don't we test it with a stupid, illegally long and straight driver? Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, I would like to warmly welcome you to the channel. Second of all, please don't forget to consider hitting that subscribe button below. That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. And also make sure you give that notification bell a ring. That way you definitely won't miss the content. And also while you're down there, just leave us a like so that I know you're enjoying this content. We have the Polara Ultimate Straight Golf Ball. Now you may have seen this tested on YouTube by Rick, by Simon from SAS. I think I've seen a few other people do it as well and I thought rather than just test it because we've all seen it you've seen it be tested why don't we test it with the illegal 515 cc juggernaut driver um because you see now this test this test is about as illegal as a bank robbery when you're on drugs and you've stolen a car and then you've killed someone I mean it's not that bad but it, it, it is that illegal honestly so here's how the test gonna go we're gonna use the polar I'm definitely gonna keep getting that right polar ultimate straight ball we're also going to use some tailor-made TP5s and we're also going to use the Cobra Speed Zone just to see if there's much of a difference. Also guys, I'm going to give these away because, um, well, they're not really any use to me after this video, although I might do some more content with them first. So hit those comments below. What would you like to see with these illegal straight flying golf balls? Would you like to see me take on Mark the Mid Handicap Tester with them? Would you like to see Foxy use them, the beginner golfer, and see if they do make a difference for a beginner golfer? And then I suppose you're going to have to comment below balls because that's what we do with ball giveaways, isn't it? Like this video and obviously you have to be a subscriber as well, guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Balls. So we'll kick things off with the standard legal driver and the legal TaylorMade TP5. And I'm also going to put shot tracer on there for you as well so you can see the difference in ball flight. Okay, Cobra Speed Zone, TaylorMade TP5, windy day. Right, but it should be long enough. I hope. So that's either really good or lost. We'll find out. Now it's time for what you've all been waiting for. 515 cc's of pure illegalness. Ultra straight flying ball of um, illegalness. Let's see what happens. So with this ball, you do have to line it up at the target you want to go at. Because I'm assuming because I'm assuming that the dimple pattern must play a role and it must be weighted somewhere to allow it to go ultra straight or ultimately straight. Let's go. Now it's dipping out the air, but that definitely held its line better. Definitely, it kind of almost looked like, kind of almost looked like a, a Ronaldo free kick. Oh, I hate this head cover. How do you get a head cover on a 515? CC driver, there you go. Almost like a Ronaldo free kick, it kind of deviated in the air. I think it's definitely going to cost it some distance, but then this driver should be illegally long. So that should be interesting. Best not leave these because these could be yours, couldn't they, guys? Ultimately straight. You see, really interesting there how it did hold its line in the wind as well. If I show you where this ball is now, you'll see that it is pretty much straight down the fairway. So can't really complain with that. The ball flight was a little bit iffy. But what does it say about these balls in the box? So it says that the 75% self-correcting, point the arrow at your target, tee it up high, use a Polara driver, well, we ain't got one of them, so sorry, or a 10.5 degree driver or higher loft for optimal results. Luckily so enough, the Juggernaut is 10.5 degrees, as well as 515 cc, so it should, should be the perfect outcome, shouldn't it? If you would like to see more on the drive, we are using the Juggernaut PowerPlay 515cc driver. I have already done a video on it, so I will link that somewhere in this video. But basically, it's just, well, it's really, really offset and it's bigger, a lot bigger. So guys, you can see here we have, well, my shadow, but we also have a bunker on the right, a bunker on the left, gauze up on the right, which is where the legal driver could potentially be. That's a lie, because the legal driver is here in the bag. The legal ball could be up there. 
and the illegal ones threaded through those bunkers nicely there. So pretty hard to complain with this one really. This is, as you can see, the ultimate straight illegal ball. We've not got a long way left in. Where is the legal one? I'm going to leave my bag here for a point of reference. And let's have a look because it was definitely moving to the right. It wasn't the best golf swing and it could potentially be a lost TP5, which wouldn't be ideal. Not a great start to the new. Here it is, I can see it, I think. I can see a ball anyway. Is that it? Should definitely have brought a club. Looks like a tailor-made logo to me. It is. Ow, 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 ow. Tailor-made, TP5. It's not a lost ball, but it, uh, it could be, couldn't it? So the TP5 went quite a long way further, but it was in the bushes. And I think it's fair to say the illegal ball wins that round. So we will have a go, I think, with the wedge because, well, why not? This is where they haven't thought this through because with this ball, obviously placing's on at the minute, so I can place it, I can manoeuvre it, I can manipulate it where I want it to be, and that's fine. But usually in the summer, I suppose they're not really thinking about the rules of golf, are they? Because, um, yeah, but we'll see if it works. We're gonna line it up, guys, because it's placing. Straight at the flag there. All we should have to worry about now is distance. 94 yards, that's just a nice gap wedge. Should be a eagle, really, shouldn't it? It has gone dead straight. Dead straight. A little bit speechless, really. So we got the line pretty much bang on. The distance wasn't ideal. So can you make an illegal ball that goes the right distance as well, please? Come on, really? So guys, that's one hole played with the illegal driver and illegal ball. I didn't really fancy playing the legal ball because uh, I quite appreciate my skin. We're gonna play another two holes. We're not gonna play them out. We're just gonna play them off the tee now. It is incredibly windy up here, but what a view that is. So the camera's gonna go low to the ground. Now I'm gonna put shot tracer on it. If you can't hear me, I apologize. Let's do it. never even saw that because of the sun so it was the illegal one so hopefully it's gone straight right well not straight right but straight oh, I'm wet now nailed that now this is gonna be interesting because on that tee I couldn't hear anything I couldn't see anything because of the sun so I'm really relying on that ultimately straight ball going ultimately straight. The second ball, the TP5, I did absolutely rip to be fair, so I'm hoping that is in the fairway anyway. But with this wind, who would know? I don't know. Okay guys, so we have a ball here, and I can't see another one. This is, <sighs> that's the TP5, so that's the legal ball and legal driver. But it pains me to say this, and this may well be a new low point in my golfing career, but I've lost a golf ball that is designed to go ultimately straight. I've got a clue where it is. I've literally looked everywhere. I've looked in that side. I've looked in that side. Nada, nothing. So um, should we call that one all then? Because the uh, TP5's in play, I think, yeah? So yeah, if anyone wants one of these ultimate straight golf balls and you don't win the giveaway, 16th hole at Huddersfield. Couldn't tell you if it was left or right side because uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, you can pay a green fee, you get on, you go find one. So there you go. So I do apologize to anyone who that wins the giveaway. I have actually lost one of these Polara ultimate straight balls, but, um, but, yeah, you're one down, I'm afraid, so sorry about that. Right, okay, we're gonna go Cobra legal driver first with the TP5. Guys, also hit those comments below. Would you like to see- Would you like to see a test with a legal driver and an illegal golf ball or not? I just like playing golf, really, so I'm easy either way. Let's do this. Come on, let's have a nice drive. Come on, that last one. 
to peel it off that left side. Yes, we'll leave, leave that there. Last shot with the illegal combination. You see, this one's easy because there's an alignment pole right at the top of that hill, and all I have to do is align that up straight at the alignment pole, and it should work. Should work. Should. That's quite amazing. That really is. That was a terrible, terrible golf swing. It had, well, all I can say is a lot of hook spin on it. And hopefully, as you'll see from the shot tracer, it held its line. It kind of came back a little. I have to keep reminding myself that these balls are illegal and you can't use them. You can't use them. No. You can if you win them. I won't tell anyone, honest. So guys, as we walk up the 18th, I suppose to summarise, have I enjoyed it? Because that's the only reason why you would ever use, not a TP5, but that's the only reason why you would ever use something like this. And it's also one of the only reasons you would use something like this. So if you do want to see more of this, make sure you do hit those comments below and let me know. If you want to see more on the Ultimate Straight Flying Golf Ball, there are loads of videos on YouTube about it, but if you would like to see me do one, particularly just against a normal ball with a normal driver, again, hit those comments below and let me know. As for the Juggernaut, I have done a video on that before, so I will link that somewhere in this video so you can see a lot more about it. But where have these balls finished? So this is the first ball we come to, and I can tell you for a fact it's going to be the illegal Polara Ultimate Straight, which it is. And that's one thing I've noticed with this up. It doesn't seem to fly very far, but then it does, it does correct, it definitely does correct itself. I've got to say, I've noticed it in flight, it just deviates quite strangely. It's quite a strange thing to see. I do hope that the shot tracer picks it up. Where's the, t oh, the TP5s? So we've just walked like 20 yards. TP5 is all the way down there. And we've had a good walk down. Here we are. This is about probably 150 yards further than the illegal ball. But if you've played here, you will know if you catch that slope, you're in business. So it's a par five. We've got about 150 yards left in. What more would you really want? You know what? Why not? I do hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have enjoyed that video, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't be afraid to leave us a like so that I know that you enjoy this type of content. If you want to see any more content with these balls before I do give them away, make sure you enter the giveaway as well if you want them. Let me know what you would like to see. Who would you like to see me play with them? Who would you like to see me play against with them? And apart from that, guys, I guess we'll just... Uh, we'll see tomorrow. This should be a gimme eagle now, shouldn't it? From, from this far with an illegal ball. It's lined up properly. Eight iron. No. 